You're watching Force 13's live streaming service. And welcome back. This is Force 13 Live. Let me just adjust the camera there. So we've got two hours until the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, but in this hour, we're going to be showing you some of our old Super Cyclone Challenge videos that never went to air. I think it's quite a bit of fun. These videos were recorded in November 2015, which was quite a long time ago. Um, and... Not many people have seen these videos before, no one outside of the team has seen them, so I hope you enjoy uh, what you're about to see. And uh, we've got John's game, Cesar's game and Craig's game, not in that order, Craig comes second, Cesar comes third in these. Um, and let's see how well they do, and we'd like to know in the comments. Uh, we'll be keeping you, uh, we'll, we'll be letting all the members know about the comments that come in as well, so if you say anything bad about them, we'll let them know in the 11 o'clock hour. This is Force 13 Live, and we're now going to show you the episode, what would have been episode 6 of the Super Cyclone Challenge back in November 2015. Welcome to another episode of the Super Cyclone Challenge. My name is Nathan Foy and someone else, another person, is going to be entering the hot seat tonight. Uh, how will they do? Will they be anyone who's played before? Uh, we've had five people who've played so far on our game show. Um, the one who got furthest was Devon, who got to 130 miles an hour. And today we have John Courier. The creator of the game itself. <laughs> Technically, yes. Um, who's going to probably be presenting this show before long. I'm filling in for him whilst he's not got a computer. Um, All right. But we we've got to get your score on the board. So how do you think you'll do, John? We'll see. And I'm, I'm not perfect, but we'll see. You're not Could perfect, you, uh... but we'll see. I'll, I'll put yeah. you on record for that. <laughs> All right. Let's go over the lifelines again, just so I have them refreshed in my mind. Yeah, I'll tell you everything. Uh, 30 questions, of course, as a maximum. Um, the first five questions, you'll have only 20 seconds to answer. Um, you will have five lifelines, so you'll have phone a friend, um, the double dip lifeline, where you can choose two answers during the question, um, a 50-50, swap the question, or the risk lifeline, which is where? <laughs> where you, the one you don't want, probably. Yeah. Where? We grab another contestant, stick him in the hot seat, and if they get it wrong, John will be back on the next question, but if they get it right, John walks away. Yikes. Yes. So, let's get, let's that, get that's going, like, shall we? That's the last resort lifeline, that one, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. All right. One that um, I probably, last resort would be somewhere in Antarctica. <laughs> Antarctica? <laughs> It's cold. Yeah. It's the last resort, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> I get it. Oh, man. Let's get started, though. Crazy person, John. Stop messing around. What no, I, I actually am stalling for time because I'm not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know, if you're not ready, you're not ready. <laughs> I'll be ready in just a few seconds, don't you worry. Um, so, of course, the first five questions to get yourself to Tropical Storm Intensity, of course, right now you're Vapor. Um, best of luck, John. You'll have 20 seconds in all the questions. Here goes. An Atlantic hurricane is known as what in the West Pacific? Is it A. Cyclone, B. Hurricane, C. Typhoon, or D. Windstorm? Typhoon, final answer. That was quick. <laughs> that took two seconds. It's the correct answer. He's on 10 miles an hour. That's, the board, that's what you'd expect, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, go on the next. Let's get through these five as quick as we can. Here's the next question. Hurricane Jimena was the second strongest storm this year in which basin? A. The North Atlantic, B. The East Pacific, C. The West Pacific, or D. The South Indian? East Pacific, final answer. Yep, John's got it. Quick as a flash. Yes, well done. 20 miles an hour. Quick as lightning. Quick as lightning. Quick as a hurricane. Here's the next question. 
Which hurricane caused the highest ever amount of monetary damage? Is it A. Ike, B. Andrew, C. Wilma, or D. Katrina? Katrina, final answer. That took less than one second, John. Are you sure? Final answer. Of course he knows. It is Katrina. John up to 30 miles an hour and he's flying, but what do you expect on those first three questions? Here's the next one. The centre of a well-defined cyclone is commonly called what? Is it A, the eye, B, the hole, C, the dot, or D, the dip? Well, looks like I can keep my eye on this one. I, final answer. Yes, yes, it is the eye. It's certainly not the hole. That's correct, John. 35 miles an hour in this bank. From your pressure. Yeah, and you're almost at the point where you can name yourself. <laughs> Uh, and here is that opportunity now. This is for Tropical Storm status, so here goes. How many Category 5 storms formed in the Atlantic in 2007? Is it A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, or D, 4? Ooh, I know there's Dean, I know there's Felix. In the Atlantic. Yes, 2007. This one's making me think a bit. I'm going to go with my gut here and say 2. Final answer? Sure. Okay, John's got his final answer in. You didn't seem at all sure, John. Yeah. <sighs> are you sure now? <laughs> now that you've said it, are you sure? No, I'm, I'm even I'm less hoping. sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know there's at least two. And yeah. I know that John is at least a 40 mile an hour tropical storm. He's got it! Yeah! Just a little bit of a gutsy get to somewhere. <laughs> Tropical Storm John, well done. Uh, by the way, if you do want a lifeline during any of our questions and time's a bit short, just say lifeline and we'll stop yeah. the clock and then you can say which one. Yep. All right. I'm aware of the... Well, here come your next five questions. These are all 30 seconds long and you have the chance to become a hurricane by the end of it. So um, we're going to put 30 <sighs> seconds on the clock for these questions. <sighs> Are you, are you a little bit tense, John? Not really. You, you, just taking a breath. Do you just feel a bit under pressure because you want to beat your big foe, Devon? Yeah, not really. I'm just no. taking a breath here because that one is a little bit hairy. Yeah, okay. The last one was a hair, bit hairy. All right, well, here we go. Here's your next question. How many times has the Greek alphabet been used in the Eastern Pacific? Is it A, never, B, once, C, twice? Or D, three times. If you said the Atlantic, it would have been once, but since it's the East Pack, zip. Zero, final answer. Final answer, you sure of that? Yep. I mean, there might have been a hidden season somewhere that got to Greek alphabet, no? Nah, no, I don't think there is. Nope, there wasn't. John's got it. 50 miles an hour. Congrats, congratulations. Oh, yes. Moving on to our next question. This is question number seven. This is for 60 miles an hour, John. Here goes. Which of these storms was retired first? Was it A, Andrew, B, Gilbert, C, Gloria, or D, Alicia? Alicia. Alicia sounds like it's an old storm. It's probably in her in the 70s. Um, I'd like to, nah, I'm not gonna double dip. I'm not gonna double dip. I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna double dip here. Okay, stop the clock. <sighs> Okay, John, uh, you can dipping. choose two of those answers. Andrew, Gilbert, Gloria, Alicia, can you tell me what your first answer is going to be? I might be wrong in the first one. I'm just going to I'm just gonna play this out. I'm going to say um, um, Alicia is my first double dip answer. Okay, John's gone Final. for, of course, John's gone for Alicia. If he's wrong, the time starts again. You'll have 15 seconds to give me the right answer. But we don't need to do that because the correct answer is Alicia. John, you should have... I don't know whether you wanted to play that too safe. Or... I, I was I was concerned because I wasn't sure when Alicia was. I thought it could have been the 80s. It could have been after Gloria. I know Gloria was the second lowest at Glo minimum. Gloria 85, Alicia 83, I think. I, that, that's, that's, that's why I played it safe because, I it you know, I, that's why I played it safe because I wasn't sure if Alicia fell in the late 80s. Like, that's why I played it safe. All right, John, fair enough. Uh, that's uh, that's you up to 60 miles an hour. This next question for 65. Four lifelines still remaining. Uh, don't forget you can walk away at any time as well if you're really stumped. You don't want to end as a tropical storm, do you? Yes, I don't want to be like Michael. Hour. Yeah, okay, here, go 
<laughs> Here he goes. At what category did Hurricane Sandy peak at in 2012? Was it A, Category 1, B, Category 3, C, Category 4, or D, Category 5? You're just giving them to me, aren't you? Category 3, final answer. Only easy if you know them, John, and he <laughs> yep. does. That's correct, 65 miles an hour for John. Tropical Storm, will he be as strong as Hurricane John in 19? I don't think so. <laughs> I might get to like borderline hurricane. Okay, probably... okay. On to the next question then. Uh, this one's 70 miles an hour, John. Uh, and the question is this. What is another common name for a subtropical storm? Is it A, half cyclone, B, hybrid storm, C, medicane, or D, horse latitude cyclone? Hmm. Can we repeat the question? Another common name for a subtropical storm. Half cyclone, hybrid storm, medicane, or horse latitude. I'd like to use a lifeline here. Okay, let's stop the 50, clock. 50-50. John's going with the 50-50. Now, what are you hoping comes out of this? <laughs> I'm hoping it's, I hope it's, it doesn't come down to um, hybrid and the, um, what's the last one? Horse latitude. Yes, I know it doesn't come out to either of those. Okay, well, <laughs> you can't see what's displayed here, but the 50-50 has been done by the computer. And I can tell you what remains is hybrid storm and medicane. 16 Makes seconds. my life easier. Hybrid storm, final answer. Okay, John's gone with it. Um, hybrid, didn't you? Yep, John, that is the correct answer. 70 miles an hour on his way to becoming a hurricane, hopefully. Yes. Um, before we start the next question, I want to check what lifelines I have left. Yeah, you have three lifelines remaining before we start our next question. This is to become a hurricane, by the way. This is the final question that you could go home with only 40 miles an hour. You still have phone a friend. You can still swap the question or that dreaded risk lifeline. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> landmine, li yeah. landmine lifeline. <laughs> three life <laughs> three lifelines still remaining. 30 seconds as always on this question. Here, here it goes. The Labor Day hurricane first affected which part of Florida? Was it A, Miami Beach, B, the Florida Keys, C, Palm Beach, or D, Jacksonville? Hmm. I'm trying to remember the track of it. I know it didn't make landfall in Miami, um, but the storm doesn't exactly have to make landfall to cause effects. Uh, we are, we are if, referring to a landfall here, though, John. Okay, if it's a landfall, then I'm, I'm thinking the Florida Keys. Final answer, Florida Final Keys. Final answer, okay. 11 seconds left on that. John's gone with the Florida Keys. Uh, the Labor Day storm eventually went on to make landfall in the western coast of Florida, but first it made landfall on Craig Key. John, you're a hurricane panicking one! Don't fall off your chair. I won't fall off my chair. <laughs> the hot seat, that is. Yes, okay, your hot the chair. Hot seat. The hot seat. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, if it's hot, if it's going to be hot seat, then duck for cover. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You won't like me saying that at all. But hey, we don't care. You're a hurricane, 75 miles an hour, and you've done better than Michael and Cesar and Benjamin. So uh, you're in the top three. Well done. At least I'm using lifelines. <laughs> Well, you're going through the lifelines like no tomorrow, that's for sure. Uh, you still got three yeah, left but, now, that's good. but it's best to play it safe sometimes. Yeah, okay. Well, let's move on to our next five questions. Best of luck to you, John. Three lifelines remain. You'll have 40 seconds uh, to answer these questions, okay? Okay. Here's the first one. This is for 80 miles an hour. No risk. No yeah. risk here. No risk. No risk at all. The Hurricane Hunters are based in which U.S. state? Is oh, it God. A, Florida, B, Mississippi, C, Louisiana, or D, Texas? The National Hurricane Center is just outside of Miami, Florida. That's the Final Hurricane answer. Hunters. Which, where are they based? Oh, base. Okay, can you repeat the answers? Florida, Alabama, Georgia, or... Sorry, I'm reading the wrong question. Florida, Mississippi, Louisiana, or Texas? Oh, that changes things a bit. Hunters. 20 seconds. Uh, I don't think they're in Florida. Um, I'm going to have to go with Alabama here, final answer, because I know it's not Florida, but I could be wrong. No, never mind. Quickly. You know I'm going to phone a friend here. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Because I have no idea. I should have taken your final answer, really, John, but I'm letting you off. Yeah. Uh, and instead, we're going to phone a friend. Who are we going to phone, John? Um. Hmm. Uh, I wish Devin was around, but I don't think he's around. I'll probably phone Craig. I might have a good chance of knowing it. Craig. Craig. It's just, if you said Hurricane Center, I would have gone to Florida. <laughs> But then again, he said Hurricane Hunters, and I know they're based in one of those four states. It just, I don't know which one. My best, my gut guess would have been Alabama, yes. That would have been my gut guess. I was struggling to get a hold of Cray here. Hmm. You know what? Oh, Craig, hello. Hello, yes. Uh, Craig, I don't know if you wanted this or not, but you are John's phone a friend this oh, evening. Oh, bugger. Um, and John is stuck on a particular question. Do you want to know how much it's for? How much is it for? 80. <laughs> this question is for 80 miles an hour, okay? No. Uh, John needs your help. You'll have 30 seconds to give him an answer before we say ta-ta. Uh, here is the question, and I'll reveal the answers, and then the time will start. The Hurricane Hunters are based in which US state? Is it Florida, Mississippi, Louisiana, or Texas, what do you think? What's your best gut? What's your best gut guess, um, Craig? Alabama, by the way, isn't an option, John. Yeah. Mississippi. Are you gonna say Mississippi? You think you Mississippi? I think Mississippi. Sorry for no visual, by the way, guys. There is nothing to see because there is no webcam here. <laughs> <laughs> so Craig thinks it's Mississippi, John, and that's out of time. Thanks ever so much for joining us, Craig, and hopefully that helps. Him. Okay. Okay, oh, that's right. not. So Craig has said that John, uh, I do have to stress you'll have to be very quick. You will have two seconds, starting from when I start the clock, to give me your final answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, show your webcam, please, if you can. Okay. I'm gonna go with it. Final hold answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've not started yet. Okay. The time starts now, John. Mississippi. Final answer. I'm gonna yes, go with it. Yes. You got in there. John's gone for Mississippi. No risk, as we said. For 80 miles an hour, you're guaranteed 75. John, do you think Craig was right? I'm hoping. You're hoping. Praying that Craig was right. You initially thought Alabama, even though it wasn't on there. Yeah, I, 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 I was, I was like thinking, wait, that's not an answer. <laughs> My, I'm, I'm so bad. <laughs> well, it's not Florida. Okay. It's not Texas. Not Texas. And it's it Georgia, is. isn't it? No, the other option was Louisiana. But it's not that either, it's Mississippi, John, 80 miles oh! an hour! Oh! That's the best sort of surprise I've ever gotten in my life! Well, there you go, there might be more on the way yet. I might not be done yet. I thought I, was, not... I, I thought it was a roasted chicken. Oh, I did too at one point. Jeez. Well, here's your next question, John. Um, oh my, that was forget. a tough one. Don't forget that you was... have just the two lifelines left now, the yes, swap just... and the risk. I'm probably not going to use the swap unless I direly need it. <laughs> I've, gotten, I've gotten to where I think is a good place right now. I've gotten to a really good spot you right now. You found your happy place. Yeah, so um, all, all this is going on is just me just hanging on by the edge of my seat, so to speak. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think you should edit that part about Alabama out. <laughs> I you don't. Want. Well, what what happens happens, John. Yeah, um, whatever. Here comes here comes your next question. This is for a possible ninety miles an hour. Okay, John. Okay. Here goes. Hurricane Sandy made landfall in New Jersey on which day of the month? Was it oh. A the twenty second, B the twenty seventh, C the twenty eighth, or D the twenty ninth? It was really close to Halloween. I know that. I think I did this for one of my questions for when I tried to do this for the game show, but my best guess would be the 29th, but, um... Are you going to go for it? You know what? You know what they say? It's only five miles an hour, so what matters? 90! I mean, 29th! 29th! Final answer! <laughs> hey, you go for D29th! <laughs> yes, let me go on for it. It's wrong. If it's wrong, oh well, I did the best I possibly could. Well, John, it's not wrong. It's right. You're up to 90 miles an hour! That, yes. was a, that was a good gut guess, so to speak. Yes, John. 
Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. Cat two, here we come. You bet. You bet. Okay, here's your next question. Good luck. Um, what was the final super typhoon to form in 1997? Oh. Was it A. Typhoon Isa? B. Typhoon Oliwa, C. Typhoon Keith, or D. Typhoon Packer? Um, I have a question. I'm just wondering um, if I use this, the jump, the, the switch, so swap the question lifeline. Um, does it kind of draw? If I if I don't think I can do the question, can I still walk away? I yes, you can. The question. I'm going to stop the question. Okay, John's going to stop the question. Out of interest, what did you think it was? I have no idea, but if I had to make a gut guess, I was thinking Packer. John, you need to follow your gut. It was Packer. So sorry, I just I wasn't this, very confident at all. On this next question, John, try and follow your gut, but I know okay. you have to be gutsy to do that. Um, you don't want to lose out, but this is for a possible 100 miles an hour if you get it right. You'll, okay. You'll be on the second person to reach triple digits, right? Okay. Here goes. Uh, where is it? There it is. Typhoons Vera, Flo, and Oscar all affected which country? Was it A. Japan, B. China, C. South Korea, or D. Taiwan? Vera, Flo, and Oscar all affected where? Japan. China, South Korea, or Taiwan. I'm split between China and Japan. <laughs> I'm split. Well. Yeah, it's, it's a hard split. <laughs> this is up to you, John. 15 seconds. You know what? 90 miles an hour is a great total. I think it's a very good amount. I've gotten to very high, in my opinion. And I, if I use the risk life line, I know that um, Devin's going to get it, so Say I'm it, John. going to walk. Walk. Oh. I'm gonna walk. I'm happy with 90. John, you had one second to say that then. I'm gonna walk. You almost left with 75 then, but John walks away with 90 miles an hour. Well done, John. Congratulations. Just out of curiosity, what was it? What did you think it was, John? My best guess would have been Japan. John, the gut again. It was Japan. But it's better to go safe than to go risky. In my opinion, I think I'm happy with 90. It's higher than I thought I was ever gonna get. I'm happy but with it. You have to admit two questions there that you could have risked and got it right. I just, I like to play it safe, Nathan. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you know, I don't want to leave with 75. I want to leave with at least something higher. I, you know, I don't want to look like Michael, who, who said Bermuda instead of you know, oh yeah, Nova Scotia. I was like, you seriously got that question wrong. <laughs> John, you had me on the edge of my seat during your pretty short tenure here. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. And if you think I'll you're... be happy, sorry, I'll be happy to have host a show when you're on the hot seat. You, I want to see how you do. I want to see how I do. If you think you can do better than John or Devon, who is still our leader with 130 miles an hour, send us a message to Force 13 on our YouTube page, Force 13, or on Facebook and Twitter, all in text. You can also speak to me personally on Skype at Fool13, FWL13, um, to get in touch with me via that medium. Welcome back to the Super Cyclone Challenge. My name's Nathan Foy, and we have a brand new person, a brand new shiny person in the hot seat this <laughs> evening. And today, it's none other than North of the Border, Craig. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, by the way, uh, you don't live far away from Lee, do you? No, I do not. And uh, do you think he'll end up playing one day? I hope he does. I do too. There's toys. Yeah. But it's, it's your turn today, and it is. Um, I'm hoping you do well. I hope you beat a few other people, certain yeah. ones near the bottom that I will not <laughs> mention because they'll get too angry with us. And I don't uh, want to be, and I don't care whether I beat the top dog or not. Yeah, Devon did. Um, he 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 set up something there that was a hard, an act that was hard to follow. 
Oh yeah, it was a very good performance and they did. But you never it know. was a very good performance. You never know. Um, anything you want to say before you start? Any targets? Well, I just want to become a hurricane, really. You want to become or Hurricane or... Craig. Yeah, I don't care how strong, as long as I'm a hurricane. You bet. Well, I'll try my best to make that a reality for you. Um, are you familiar with the lifelines? Five lifelines you begin with. Um, found a friend, the double dip, 50-50, the swap, and the dreaded risk lifeline that no one's oh. ever used. <clears throat> and I could tell you that if you take the risk lifeline today, the person who's going to end up back in the chair will be Daniel Hudson. Who will then have the chance to take his game from you. But if he gets that question wrong, then you get back into the hot seat on the, fo on the following question. So. Right. so so, sometimes risk can equal reward. Anyway, let's. Uh, shall we get going? Yeah. Obviously, we begin with just 20 seconds on the clock, so you do have to be pretty quick. Um, but they are uh, the easiest of the questions, so um, hopefully... You won't need to take up more than 20 seconds on those uh, first few questions. Hopefully. Let's start with number one. Here it is, for 10 miles an hour. Which of these storm names has never been used? Is it A, Daniel, B, Michael, C, Nathan, or D, Bubbles? Bubbles. Final answer. Yes. <laughs> That's a reference to a blooper, isn't it? Oh, Bubbles. yes, it is. Yeah. Well, this is not how we can poll. Uh, oh, God. Cor <laughs> correct, 10 miles an hour. Okay, let's shoot at the question. Which of these countries has never seen a tropical cyclone landfall? Is it A, the United States, B, Australia, C, Chile, or D, Mexico? Chile. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, it is. It's final answer. It's the correct answer. It's Chile. Let's go as quick as which of these 2005 hurricanes was the strongest? Was it A. Hurricane Irene, B. Hurricane Wilma, C. Hurricane Ophelia, or D. Hurricane Stan? Hurricane Wilma. Final answer. Final answer. Yep, it is. That's the final answer. Correct. <laughs> Just isn't going far. <laughs> but this is good momentum. Good momentum. Let's go. It is a very good momentum. This is for 35. Which of these cyclones battered Vanuatu in March 2015? Is it A. Pam, B. Pat, C. Ian, or D. Ron? Pam, final oh, answer. Of course it is. Pam, the correct answer. The Craig, the <laughs> They're pretty easy questions by anyone's yeah. standards, except Daniel's. Uh, now, to the, last <laughs> to the last question before you become a tropical storm. This is for the 40 miles an hour. Hurricane Sandy made its final landfall in which US state? Is it A, New Hampshire, B, New Jersey, C, New Mexico, or D, North Carolina? Was it New Jersey? Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Doesn't look like a very confident final answer. No, it's not. You've gone for it. Well, is Craig a tropical storm going with New Jersey and not New Hampshire? Is that the one you were possibly thinking it could be? Uh, I wasn't sure. I could remember it making landfall. It's, it's final landfall. Yeah. Uh, I probably think I'm wrong now. Really? Uh, let's let's see what it is. Don't be silly. Your tropical storm, Craig. Congratulations. Yay! Well, excellent. Uh, lifelines untouched. As we go on to our next questions, there are five of them. Again, uh, you'll have thirty seconds on these ones. Um, so a little bit more thinking time. You weren't yeah. anywhere near running out of time, by the way, on that last round. So um, you're looking all right. Here's your next question. For fifty miles an hour, Hurricane Iniki affected which group of islands? Is it A. the Ryukyu Islands, B. the Hawaiian Islands, C. the Mariana Islands, or D. the Marshall Islands? Hurricane Iniki. What was the islands again? Uh, the Ryukyu Islands, the Hawaiian Islands, the Mariana Islands, or the Marshall Islands. 
Hawaiian Islands. Final answer? Final answer. Okay, 12 seconds left on that one. Craig's gone with the Hawaiian Islands. Were you torn between two of them there? Well, I probably wasn't sure about that one, so... Well, uh, you're a lot more sure now because it was the correct answer. 50 miles an hour. Hit the, uh, one of those Hawaii Islands, I forget the name now. Um, Kauai, I think it might be, in 1992 was a Category 4. One of the strongest landfalls in Hawaii ever, if not the strongest. Anyway, on to our next question for 60 miles an hour. Which of these storms lasted the longest? Is it A, Hurricane John, B, Hurricane Kate, C, Hurricane Ike, or D, Hurricane Hazel? Is it Hurricane John? You're asking me a question then. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, that, that that was my final answer. Okay, Greg's gone for John. And it was no contest. John was the correct answer. Yes, <laughs> 60 miles an hour. Whatever you do, Craig, don't do what certain other people have done at this point of the game. No, no I'll, I'll try not to. If you, if you really think you're going to get it wrong, walk away. But yes. um, I, I do want to see you do well. Sometimes you have to go with your gut, as we saw with John. The rest of Craig's game will be shown in the next episode of the Super Cyclone Challenge. If you'd like to take part in our show, get in touch with us on our many mediums. The website force13.com, our YouTube page, Force13 all in text. Same with Facebook and Twitter. And you can also add Fool13 on Skype. And that's where the game shows take place. So it would be very much ideal if you had a Skype account that you could contact me on for that. Until next time, you've been watching the Super Cyclone Challenge. See you again soon. Welcome back, this is Force 13 Live, and as you saw there, I was just waiting for the queue. Uh, and we are showing two episodes back to back. Those were recorded in November 2015. We're going to get the second part of Craig's show coming up a little later, but I just want to spend the next few minutes uh, for any responses from people in the Skype room right now as to that. First of all, I want to give it to John, because John has arrived um, into the Skype room, which is very enlightening and interesting indeed. John, what did you think of that, about that game oh so long ago? Oh, jeez. I should have been a bit more gutsy. Uh, well, you know, what happens. 90's good. Um, I'd love to do a run again, but, you know, if everyone wants to try before me, that's fine with me. I mean... And hopefully... We need to do some oh, more. What we want... We, we were actually planning to do one or two live tonight, but we didn't quite get there in time yeah uh, um, so if, if anyone wants to submit their application form we don't have application forms but if anyone <laughs> wants to say that they want to do it then let me know and we might just uh, get you on the super cyclone challenge in if uh, i was yes yeah if i was told like a week or two earlier i would have had questions written up by now <laughs> that's uh, okay geez. well how have you been john uh everyone else is there as well as you can see uh but i haven't yeah I haven't been on a live stream in like a month, and school's just been busy. Yeah, and uh, what do you think of Tropical Depression 2E? <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to see it. It was one of those oh. depressions you don't see, but I bet it's it still was going, not you know. Nice. It's still going. Oh, it's actually <laughs> it's going right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is out of the way. <laughs> yeah, this is. This is what happens when you're just busy at school for like weeks on end. You fall out of loop. I mean, I was catching. I was lucky to catch Arlene since I was on vacation from school, so I was able to catch it then. But other than that, I I got a glimpse of Adrian, and now two E is spinning around. I'll have a look at it, yep. and I'll give you my thoughts in a minute or two. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a minute or two in, in this hour, but we will get to speak to you a little bit later on. How's the rest of you doing there? Quite well. Excellent. Over here. Yep. How do you think Enjoying Craig's going to do? He had a good start there. Craig, what are your thoughts? Oh! Well, Craig knows. <laughs> but, you know. Yes, I already know. I know what the outcome is. Mm. Oh, I like this. So I guess, we'll go, I guess we'll go straight back to it then. 
Oh, yeah. God. And it is the next oh, episode of the Super Cyclone Challenge for another 22 minutes. Then at 11 o'clock UTC, John and friends are going to have lots of fun because we've got Guess the Storm. So, guys, if you want Whoopee! to get some... I don't have any images, by the way, so I'm relying on you guys completely. If you've got any images ready that you want to show on Guess the Storm, we'll coordinate it at 11 o'clock. This is Force 13 Live, counting down to the Atlantic Hurricane season. You won't miss it, of course. It'll be quite stupid if we did miss it, to be honest. Viewers, this is what the whole thing is about. Storm? You're so, going down. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll see how John does. It will, yeah. But we're supposed to do it in teams, viewers versus whatever. Let's just get on with the, the first get thing. On first, with business, it. first business uh, is first. Let's get uh, Craig second. Second half, and then we're on to Cesar's yeah, game oh, later God, on in the Super oh, Cyclone oh, Challenge. God. Watch yeah. this. S save me all of it. <laughs> Back to the Super Cyclone Challenge. My name's Nathan Foy, and we have a brand new person, a brand new shiny person in the hot seat this evening. And today, it's none other than North of the Border, Craig. Hello. Hello. Hi. On to our next question for 60 miles an hour. Which of these storms lasted the longest? Is it A, Hurricane John, B, Hurricane Kate, C, Hurricane Ike, or D, Hurricane Hazel? Is it Hurricane John? You're asking me a question there. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yeah, that, that that was my final answer. Okay, Craig's gone for John. And it was no contest. John was the correct answer. Yes, <laughs> 60 <laughs> Whatever you do, Craig, don't do what certain other people have done at this point of the game. No, no I'll away. try not to. If you, if you really think you're going to get it wrong, walk away. But yes. um, I, I do want to see you do well. Sometimes you have to go with your gut, as we saw with John. Yep. So here goes. In 2015, two subtropical storms formed in which ocean? Is it A, the South Atlantic Ocean, B, the South Indian Ocean, C, the Southern Ocean, or D, the South Pacific Ocean? South Atlantic Ocean. Final answer, Craig. Final answer. 25 seconds left there. You only use five of them up, and it is the correct answer. South Atlantic. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah, whatever you want to say. One of them. Yeah, one of them. Um, <laughs> two questions away from that threshold, Hurricane Craig. That's the one you're eyeing up. Oh, yes. Uh, here comes the next question for 70 miles an hour. Typhoon Tip occurred in which decade? Is it A, the 1950s, C, the 1960s, B, the 1960s even, C, the 1970s, or D, the 1980s? 1970s, final answer. Yep, that seemed pretty simple to me. That's the correct answer, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> The formation of an eye, perhaps. Yes. Uh, certainly yes. by the next question. This is for Hurricane Status. No pressure. 30 seconds on the clock. Use it wisely. Which of these storms is on the current Atlantic naming list? Is it A. Wonder? <laughs> right, come on. Wait till you hear the rest of them. Is it A. Wonder? B. Willie? C. Fanny? Or D. <laughs> Sooty? I'm gonna go with Wanda. Final answer. Final answer. Not Sutty. No. Not Fanny. No. And certainly not a wet willy. Oh no. god. <laughs> this is bloopers. Craig, and on that fantastic note, you're a Canary one Yay! Oh wow. We completely lost it. Sheesh! You made me. <laughs> oh no! Oh dearie me! 
All oh, right. Well, only three, oh, four people have gone this far. Um, and uh, if you get the next question right, you'll be ahead of Marcel at least temporarily. Here's your next question for 80 miles an hour. 40 seconds on this, by the way. Um, so you'll have a little bit more thinking time should you need it. Here it comes. Hurricane David made its final landfall in which US state? Is it A, Florida, B, Alabama, C, Georgia, or D, South Carolina? I'm gonna go Florida. Nathan, I'm gonna go Florida. Is that your final answer, Greg? That is my final answer. Okay, 26 seconds remaining on that. You had 75 miles an hour. No risk on this one, of course. Craig, the correct answer is... I'm sorry, it's Georgia. Oh! Well, yep, yeah, it did make landfall in Florida, but it went on to Georgia in the end. Finally made a landfall there, a rare one. Craig, you're a hurricane. Uh, that's what you came here for. Um, yep. So you must be proud of that. I am happy with that. But you must be slightly disappointed that you didn't use a single lifeline. Uh, I think I should have done, but there we go. Well, Went with the gut stink. Yes, didn't work for you at this time, I'm afraid. Maybe there'll be a next time one day, but it won't be for some time. Thanks for joining us, Craig. And that was his version of the Super Cyclone Challenge Academy 1 Hurricane. If you think you could do better than him, or indeed better than our current reigning champ, Devon, at 130 miles an hour, why don't you try it out and see how far you can get. Of course, you might have your own personal target. You might not care about anyone else's score. Just... Um, just want to get to your own personal target. If you want to try that out, you can do it on Force 13 on one of our shows. And welcome back to the Super Cyclone Challenge. My name is Nathan Foy and uh, we are joined by someone who was on the Hurricane Week version of the Super Cyclone Challenge. Um, but we thought the questions were just a wee bit unfair compared to some of our later contestants. So we invite him back. Um, it's Cesar Gamez. Hi people. Hello. Hello. Just one person actually. Yes. Uh... <laughs> no one's watching. Um, <laughs> are you okay? I'm okay. Um, I'm confident that I will do very well. Asking, uh, not like the other game, but. <laughs> you ready to become a Cat Five? I'm more than ready. I want you to do as well as you can, Cesar. So. Best of luck to you. You're familiar with the format now that you've done it once already. You'll have five lifelines. Um, those lifelines are as follows. If I can get my notebook open so I can explain them properly. Yes, you'll of course have a phone a friend. I have, I believe with my knowledge, that uh, your phone a friend today is Marcel Holos. Yes, Marcel Holos is a very clever guy. It do he did very, very well in his game show, sure, and I think it will be a very good help okay. if I if I need a case. You've got that. You've got the double dip where you can choose two answers for your question. A 50-50, which removes two of the wrong answers, sort of like reverse, really. Um, the swap, you can swap the question, or you can take that dreaded risk lifeline where we put someone else in the hot seat, and if they get it wrong, then you're back in the hot seat for the next question. That's very much a last resort really putting everything on the line and of course if yes. they get it right you go home with nothing oh jesus <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, before we begin uh, you know um in the last game you left with without touching any of your lifelines are you disappointed about that yes i didn't remember that i had uh, the lifelines and I was very mad because I was yeah. very sure that I yeah. can do it very well well don't forget but... you're against the clock um that is of course, very true, that is probably going to be pressing on your mind. Um, but if you do need to take a lifeline, if you don't know the answer, just say lifeline, I'll stop the clock, and then you can decide which one you want to go with, okay? Okay. Let's begin with the first question. Oh, we'll need it for this first question, hopefully. It's for 10 miles an hour. Which Atlantic storm was strongest in the 2015 season? Was it Kate, Danny, Joaquin, or Bill? Is Joaquin final answer? Cesar has gone for Joaquin. Yes, it is. Yay! <laughs> okay, here's the next question for twenty. 
which storm affected the U.S. East Coast the year before Sandy did? Was it Irene, Celia, Felix, or Dean? It was Irene. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, Cesar. No bombs at all. 20 miles an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> You're progressing up the board faster than I can say abracadabra. Here's the next question for 30 miles an hour. Alberto, Beryl and Chris were the first three storms on which of these Atlantic seasons? Alberto, Beryl and Chris. Was it A, 2010, B, 2011, C, 2012 or D, 2014? Those three storms were in 2012 season. Final answer. Final answer. Yes. yes. He said it. And he's got the 30 miles an hour. Yes, you bet. Two <laughs> Yay, I'm reforming. <laughs> Here we go for 35 miles an hour. You're not there yet. Here it is. In 1996, Hurricane Douglas evolved out of which Atlantic tropical cyclone? Was it, <laughs> was it A, Hurricane Cedric, B, Hurricane Cesar, C, Hurricane Charlie, or D, Hurricane Klaus? <laughs> <laughs> it was Hurricane Cesar. <laughs> Hey, are you sure? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes. Are you sure it wasn't Cedric? Cesar. Or Klaus. Definitely Cesar. Yes. <laughs> and hopefully you're following its footsteps. And then it only became a Cat 1 in the Atlantic that year. 35 miles an hour. Yes! I'm a new one, Tropical Depression. <laughs> yeah, nearly there. So here's the question for Tropical Storm status. Keep your concentration just a little bit more. Here goes. Which of these storm names does not exist? Is it A. Greater, B. Gerda, C. Grace, or D. Gammy? Is Gammy final answer? You had to take one short moment to think about that before you said it. You're completely sure? Yes. I never heard that name before. Gammes, Gammy, neither of them have been used. He's a 40 mile an hour tropical storm. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, oops. Here's our next question, uh, which will take you to 50 miles an hour, Cesar. Um, we, you nearly got a hurricane status last time, didn't you, actually? Yes, I was um, You bombed out at the last moment. Very bad situation, but I'm oh, ready to be a hurricane. Haven't touched any of your lifelines. Hopefully you won't need to for your next question. Here it is. Which of these seas can produce a tropical cyclone? Is it A, the South China Sea, B, the Bering Sea, C, the Black Sea, or D, the Sea of Azov? The South China Sea, Bering Sea, Black Sea, Sea of Azov. Uh, can develop cyclones? Yes. Is China Sea final China answer? China Sea final answer. Cesar, you had me worried there for a moment. Time was ticking. And is your final answer? It's correct. He's. Yes. I. Well, for one moment I thought that you said can't, but. <laughs> can't. Ah. Oh. But when you said Bering Sea, I well, I think you said can't. So. <laughs> You're a bit confused. But I, but I just asked for be sure. Yeah, of course. Perfect. I'm 50 miles per hour. Yeah, don't, don't forget, you can't spend too long dawdling on these questions. You've only got 30 seconds. Of course, I'll warn you when time's nearly up. Here's the next question for 60 miles an hour. Tropical Storm Lee immediately followed which notable Atlantic hurricane? Was it A, Rita, B, Katrina, C, Kate, or D, Carrie? Sorry, Carl. <laughs> Can you repeat the answers, please? Yes, Tropical Storm Lee immediately followed which notable Atlantic hurricane? Rita, Katrina, Kate, or Carl? Katrina, final answer. Final answer, Katrina. Okay, 14 seconds was left on the clock there. You sure? Yes. Yep, of course he's sure. It's the correct answer. 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Turning out to be very similar to your last game, isn't it?
Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. Alright, alright, here goes. Here's your next question. In 2015, Hurricane Fred was notable for what? Was it its location of formation? Was it B, the human cost? C, damages? Or D, late season development? For its formation, location final answer. Of formation? Yes. Yes, okay. That only took you six seconds. Is it plain sailing so far, Cesar? Oh my god. Yes. Don't jinx Ooh. it, it's the correct answer. Oh my god, I'm so close. <laughs> really excited, okay. Good luck. I, 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 want, I want you to do as well as you can, so uh, good luck. Thank Here's you. your next question. Typhoon Haiyan was followed a year later by which late season Philippine storm? Was it A. Bopa, B. Joan? C. Ivan or D. Hagapit? It was Typhon Hagapit. Final answer. Final answer. Yes. That took you even four seconds that time, even less than last time. You're just totally sure it's Hagapit. Yes, I'm, I'm totally sure. Of course he is, it's the correct answer, 70 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're at that same point as we were last time. When you had One five step. lifelines available and you went with the wrong answer. One step ahead All to right. be a cat on. Hopefully this won't end the same way. This is for Category 1 Hurricane Status Games. And here it is, to question number 10. Cyclone Chapala made a hurricane landfall in which country in 2015? Was it A. Zambia? B. The United Arab Emirates C. Yemen or D. Syria It's Yemen, final answer Now that one you're a lot more sure about rather than the Hurricane Debbie question last time <laughs> Yeah Are you sure about, <laughs> you sure about this one? It brings me very bad memories, but yes It's my final answer, I'm totally sure that it was in Yemen Sorry about those memories, but I do have to <laughs> A little bit of shade between the light and that sure light is that Cesar is a Category 1 Hurricane! Surely those memories. <laughs> that voice does not suit that picture. I know, but I can. I have a very deep voice. Good lord, where did that come from? Okay. <laughs> Well, Cesar, we can end up in jubilation here, and um, let, let me take it a little bit more serious just for a moment, just to ask you the question. Um, have you set a target for this show? Uh, how far you want to go? <coughs> uh, my target? Yeah. How far would you like to go in this show? I mean, have you already Two. reached it? Uh, 205 miles per hour, had five hurricane. <laughs> ah. Realistically, though. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you want to? <laughs> realistic. You're asking realistic. Yeah, I don't. Think okay. That's re is, is that realistic, really? Yes. Two hundred and five right. miles per hour. Cut well, by hurricane. You've, got, you've, you've still got five lifelines available. <laughs> well, no, but maybe I can do it a cut a major cut tree, maybe. Okay. Well, um, Devon has set the example, and that record has stood for some time now. Devon was cut for right. 130 miles an hour category 4 he walked away with. He did very well indeed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Your next questions. These have 40 seconds on the clock, so you can spend a little bit more time thinking about them. Don't rush into an answer is what I'd suggest, but unless, of course, you really know it. Here is the next question. Question number 11. For 80 miles an hour, Hurricane Cesar, I don't want you going home with lifelines and such. Accept the risk. Okay? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Hurricane Gloria affected the US East Coast in which decade? Was it A, the 1950s, B, the 1970s, C, the 1980s, or D, to the 2000s? Hurricane Gloria. Hurricane Gloria. 50s, 70s, 80s, or 2000s? 2000s. I think it was in the 80s, final answer. Final answer. You weren't confident. You wanted to yeah. go with it without any lifelines being touched. I hope you've not done this, Cesar. Are you, are you yeah. confident about this? Yes, I don't remember Gloria in 70s, 50s or 2000s even. So, process of elimination then. 
Okay, good. It, it's good for you. Says, are oh, you 80 miles an hour? Yes. 80 miles an hour. Uh. Okay, well, of course, at this point, if you get a question wrong, you're guaranteed 75 miles an hour. That was a safe zone. The next one doesn't come until you're a major hurricane, 115 miles an hour. Hopefully, you'll get there. Here's the next question. Which of these storms did not make landfall in Hawaii? Did not. Did not. Was okay. it Hurricane Iwa, Iniki, Dot, or Flossy? Which one did not make landfall in Hawaii? Iwa, Iniki, Dot, or Flossy? Dot, final answer. You're saying dot is your final answer. You didn't even yes, have that any was a questions typhoon. about it. Says that I. was a typhoon. <laughs> you sure it wasn't a hurricane as well? Sometimes they can have two names. Yes. Um, <laughs> that, uh, well, that was a typhoon. Dot to dot. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Um, mm. so, uh, did you yes. rule out the other ones there? Hmm? I mean, you know that process of elimination thing you had going on, did you rule out those other possibilities? I'm completely sure that that was a typhoon, so it not made landfall in Hawaii. Well... You're laughing. <laughs> yes, I am <laughs> laughing. <laughs> so are. The correct answer is... It's Flossy. Really? Yes! Hurricane really? Dot formed... Way back when and hit Hawaii, Cesar! Oh, the beach, <laughs> Again, you've used no lifelines. And you go home with a top speed of 75 miles an hour. I don't remember any Hurricane Dot. You got killed by Hurricane Dot. Mm. Cesar! Mm. I wanted you to do better! I wanted you to go there! Oh, dearie me. Well, if oh you my think... god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, language, thank you. And that's yeah. going to be edited out. If you think you can do better than Cesar Gamez, who is swearing his way out of the studio at 75 miles an hour, send us a message at Force 13 on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, all in text. Force 13, we can have on Skype at Fool13, F O L 1 3, this time in numbers. If you'd like to speak to me on Skype and take part in the Super Cyclone Challenge, or indeed Devon's Challenge, The Fury of the Storm. Until then, we'll see you next time with another contestant. Caesar! Me! Man, I was completely sure that I never thought about Yes, indeed. Well, that was that. The Super Cyclone Challenge from 2015, and uh, that was two unaired episodes. You can still see the Skype team are all here, and they're ready to do Guess the Storm in the next hour. Uh, but we've got to go away now, and uh, we'll be back again in just a minute to do that. We've also got the International Space Station moving by Tropical Depression 2E. We'll be covering that for you as well. This is Force 13 Live, and we'll be back again in just a few moments. Stay tuned. We're a little bit slow here, and you can hear everyone else in the background as well, I think. Somewhere. Back shortly. continues in a moment.